Hi YouTube, this is Swim Down Now Before 50. Um, I'm coming to you today is Thursday, December the 9th, and I am just going to give my status update for um, today. I went to the gym and I concentrated on cardio today only. Um, I started out initially doing one hour of um, on the treadmill and actually I um, ended up doing 70 minutes um, I ended up burning uh, 1,700 I'm sorry 1,000 let me let me start over <laughs> um, the first hour that I was on the treadmill or first 70 minutes um, I was on the tra treadmill I burned 1,315 um, calories and I walked 4.54 miles. Um, I had the incline on 14 and I had the speed at 4.0. Um, and that was basically the whole time um, that I was on the treadmill. So I decided that um, after I got 4.54 miles that I might as well um, see if I could do 6 miles um, total. So I added uh, an additional um, 20 minutes on since I had did um, I had did 60 minutes but then for me to try to get the four miles I ended up adding on to my cool down time which they normally give you five minutes to cool down but um, what I was doing was I adjusted my um, incline up back up to like um, 14 and speed up to 4.0 and when you're cooling down every minute it will bring it back down so you have to keep adjusting so that's how I got the 4.54 miles but I decided to add 20 more minutes on to or at least um, I'm sorry 15 more minutes and then um, I um, was going to use the cool down to do the 20 minutes so um, my next go around I did I burned a total of 386 um, calories and I walked a total of 1.46 miles so the 4.54 and the 1.46 miles gave me 6.0 miles total and I burned a total of 1701 calories um, and that was it was uh, I'm not going to lie, I was really exhausted after I finished, but I was happy that I did somewhat push myself because, um, as I had mentioned yesterday on my last video, that um, I wanted to begin to work out more um, intensely um, because my goal is to be able to um, get in a size 12 by February 14th, which is Valentine's Day. And um, I figured that what um, what my goal is or, what, or why I'm doing what I'm doing is I'm not so much trying to lose weight quickly but I'm challenging myself and I'm trying to um, really confuse my body if that's a good word to say I, I know um, you know God is not the author of confusion so I'm not using it in that sense but sometimes um, when you train especially when you work out and you work out the same way your body will hit um, what you call a, a plateau or a plato plateau and I don't want my body to hit a plateau I want to be able to constantly um, anywhere from every other day to every two days to do something that's extremely different than what I normally do so that my body will not really know what to expect because I figure the more that I mix it up the more that um, my body will begin to adjust and do hopefully what I, I expected to do which is just drop inches first and um, build muscle um, and then drop the weight um, I also decided to go into the sauna today because um, after working out so hard I really felt like I needed to excuse me sit in the sauna and try to um, soothe my muscles and everything um, I did end up drinking getting a uh, purchasing um, uh, smoothie from the gym because normally when I work out 
I leave right from the gym and I go home and I make my own smoothie at home but I actually ended up having to um, go to the grocery store today so I uh, had to get something because I don't know if it happens to a lot of you but um, I guess you know after working out so much and like I said I don't perspire I really really sweat so I tend to I don't really want to say that it's lightheadedness because I don't think it's, it's lightheadedness that I feel but I, at a certain point um, especially after I worked out like maybe 30 minutes or so and um, I really start to feel um, this somewhat sensation in my body and um, it doesn't cause me to want to quit but I do make sure because I always have my water and I started bringing this container because I do sweat so much that I want to make sure that I try to hydrate while I'm working out and today I actually drank before I left the gym about two of these because I was really really thirsty and I've um actually so far I've drank about three and um so um I'll probably drink, if not the whole uh, amount of this, I'm going to drink um, a portion of it before tonight because I do want to try to make sure I get my um, intake. So, as you can see, that was my daughter. She didn't, I guess she didn't realize that was on the camera. She was just uh, starstruck. But um, either way, um, I am really, really striving to um, find out what works for me, what really works for me as far as training wise. And I was talking to one of the trainers at the gym today and, and we're friends because we've known each other since I started working out there. Um, and uh, he's a former police officer, um, retired, but um, we're both job hunting. So one of the things that we, when we see each other and, and speak, we joke to each other about, you know, well, you know, we're having a challenging time finding a job, so until then, we'll just really work out a lot. But um, he did make a, a good point today that um, I'm, I had already considered it, but then since he brought it up, I said, well, maybe that's what I need to do as well. Um, he had said that beginning at the beginning of the year, that he's actually going to start working out twice a day. Um, now, if I do work out twice a day, I will probably go to the gym like in the morning and then maybe work out at home in the um, afternoon. Because, um, you know, with my gym being 20 minutes away one way, that, that's a lot of gas going back and forth. But then um, I do belong to a 24 hour gym. So, depending on how my schedule is, because I know I will have classes. Um, uh, I think starting next semester is going to be three nights a week. Um, there may be a couple times a week that I might look at working out at the gym uh, twice. Uh, like maybe um, either I go in early like that morning. What I'm thinking about doing is going in like maybe trying to get to the gym about 8, 8.30, work out for about an hour, hour and a half. Then leave and get lunch or something and then maybe come back and work out for another hour or so but I'm going to see how that works and if it works out for me that's good but um, I'm not going to um, try to become a, a gymaholic <laughs> but uh, I do know that there are such things as you know when you really start getting in shape and everything it's almost like your, your body craves exercise and so we'll see what happens but um, my other goal is uh, like I said is to work on fine tune my um, eating habits. I'm not going to go with the word diet because um, my goal is not so much to cut out. Well, I do intend to take out the things that I know that are really, really, really not that healthy for me. But um, it will be done gradually and um, I'm getting to a point now and I also recall when I was in the military and I was exercising a lot that at uh, certain points um, my body began to tell me what it actually wants so uh, as long as I listen to my body which I listened to it at that time I should be eating more healthier as well but um, I did purchase some vitamins today they were um, I was looking for uh, a really good multivitamin but um, I don't know for some reason 
I, it just it's like you either if they have a multivitamin they're so very very expensive and I mean I'm talking about things like Centrum and one a day I'm not talking about some of this other stuff or um, you have to buy so many different ones and I don't want to I'm just not a pill popper but what I did was um, I have been taking prenatal vitamins but then I saw this other vitamin which was um, hair skin and nail I think I've taken something similar to it before but what caught my attention about this particular one was that um, I was looking at purchasing some biotin I think I had seen some before like about a couple of weeks ago and a small container of biotin vitamins were like I think they were like eight or ten dollars and so this one had um, biotin collagen and gelatin in it so I said and I did look at it had other um, vitamins in it as well so I decided I would go ahead and get those and try those um, the only thing I don't like I have to take three um, a day <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out am I going to take them all at one time or maybe do like one before or one after breakfast, one after lunch and maybe one after dinner. But I'll see. Um, I'll probably end up taking them all at one time. But other than that, um, tomorrow is power day at the gym so um, my goal is to make it to the gym hopefully um, earlier than the power class so I can at least do 30 minutes of um, cardio before I go into the power class and then probably after the power class I'll do another 20 or 30 minutes. So uh, with that I'm going to say talk to you later. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.